Hello everybody and welcome to a new tutorial. Today I will show you how you can draw in AutoCAD 2D this hook. So in order to make our work much faster and easier, I will copy this image into our workspace. Before every single drawing, you know that the units are very important. So in order to set them correctly, we will type units and then we'll press enter. Here it will appear a window with many options. You know already from previous videos that they are already presets, but I will show you again. So here I will let it just in three decimals, here I will let it with international, here in millimeters it is just fine for our drawing, and I will let the decimal degrees and the clockwise unchecked. And then I'll press OK. Another thing that we will use today are all those points that we need. For example, endpoint, midpoint, and so on. In order to set them also, we will type these settings and it will appear here another window. In our case, we need endpoint, we need midpoint, center, and so on. So you just check those one that you actually need. And after that, you will press OK. And now let's start to draw. I will close this one to have more workspace. And we will start with this rectangle. So here we have a rectangle with the dimensions 16 and 15. So let's go with the rectangle command. First dimension 16, tab 15 units. Then we will construct another rectangle with the dimensions 20 and 23, because we have here two millimeters and here 25. But let's set the UCS first. So write UCS, here it will be the X and here the Y. Let's help with it. Write rectangle, minus two tab zero, enter 20 tab 23. Okay, now let's use the chamfer command, but you see we need here a distance of two. So let's apply the chamfer. Okay, we'll write distance, then specify first chamfer distance two, tab two. Okay, and now we are selecting the lines. Okay, now we'll apply again, so chamfer, multiple. Okay, and we'll create another three corners. Good, okay. Now we'll create another rectangle, starting from this line until here. So, in other words, we have another rectangle with the dimensions 16 on 25. Straight from the origin. Rectangle, 0, 0. 16 tab 25. Here we need an extra part, so we have a distance here on 20 units. Okay, this one it is 15 as you see, so we will offset it. Offset with 5 units. Select it, explode it to have just 4 lines. Select the other 3 lines and delete them. Now let's construct another line. So you see that we have here an angle of 45 degrees. Line starts from this point. Press the ut key, you see? And now we will write, for example, it doesn't matter, 30 units, tab 45 degrees. This line has an angle of 45 degrees and it is long of 30 units. Here we need to apply also a radius of 5 units. In order to do that, we will apply the fillet command, air from radius and 5 units. The same thing we'll do in the other direction, but we'll use the mirror command. So select these two points, enter, be sure you have the auto command active and go straight from the middle. Array source object no. And now about this line, we will extend it. So press the extend command. Now let's go back. We have here another circle. So a circle with a diameter of four and it is located here on a distance of eight in this case. And here it will be exactly straight in the middle. Let's go back. Let's move the origin again. You can just click here the origin, move origin only. So let's write circle, 8 tab 8, enter, D from diameter and 4. Then the next thing that we must do, it will be to draw another rectangle, but for this time with the dimensions 22 and 25. Now we'll move it straight into the middle, so move command. But now we need to construct one rectangle, so here and a little bit down, just to have these two lines. And then we'll erase this line. So we have here a distance of one. In order to do that, let's construct another rectangle. So rectangle 24, tab, let's say 4. We'll put it straight into the middle. Exploded, trim. 
okay and now let's go from this point with a line of 60 units as you see so line 60 units and we will construct now another two lines as you see so a line here of 10 and the other one 9 10 9 here from this point we need to construct several circles so the first one it will be straight from the region with a radius of 22 units but let's also change the region ucs this one it will be the x and this y the y circle 0 comma 0 22 another circle straight from the region it will be one with a radius of 26 so circle 0 comma 0 26 Another one, it will be with a radius of 47 and 44. But for this time, both of them are on a distance of 10 units compared to the origin point. So write circle, minus 10, 0, enter 47. Again, circle, minus 10, tab 0, enter 44. Let's add now those two radiuses. So radius of 12 and a radius of 39. We let air 12 and fillet air 39 with the interior one, as you see. Good, but here we have a radius of 9. In order to do that, we need to construct another circle with a radius of 35. But we will construct straight from this point. So right circle from here, 35. At this intersection, we need to cut. So trim. Trim this part, and here we need a radius of 9 units between these two circles. Okay, fillet, air from radius, 9 units. Trim. We can delete this line as well. Good, and here we need to add also radius of 6. So, fillet, air from radius, 6 units. Trim this part as well. And now let's focus on this section here. We need to construct two circles. A circle with a radius of 22 and the other one with a radius of 15. But we will help with the region. So let's go circle 43.95 tab minus 2. Because as you see there is here minus 2. And now the dimension it will be 22. Let's trim this part as you see here. So trim. Okay, and this part too. And the other one now, the other circle, it will be on a distance of 52 tab 5 units. Circle, 52 tab 5, enter 15. Now there is a problem here. So you see that there is a little gap between those two circles. So we will just move it. Okay, now we have here a radius of 2.5. So if you let air from radius 2.5. And now we can trim. And this line too. Okay, and here it is. Our drawing now is complete. I hope this video helped you. If you have questions, don't hesitate to let them in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like, share, subscribe and see you next time.